Hey guys, Ben with AmeriRent Equipment. Want to bring you another video today and show you my new John Deere 317G uh, track loader. This is a uh, N model 2018. I call it a 2019 because I just got it here in 2019. But um, this is the 317G. I'm just going to give you a, kind of a walk around. It's a uh, 60 horsepower machine, or just slightly over. Um, it uh, does not have def, because that's only for 70 horsepower and, um, and more. Just want to show you guys um, kind of what it looks like up close. Easily accessible grease cirques, grease fittings, whatever you want to call them. We did modify the, uh, and added a bumper on the back. If you pull that like to uh, rear end the back of the machine into a tree or a building, because I do use this, this is going to be in my rental fleet. So we did modify and add that. It does have counterweights too on the uh, back here that were included with the purchase. Those are 45 kilograms or 100 pounds basically. And then the, uh, the fabricated plate there, uh, bumper plate, um, puts extra weight on the bottom, um, adds about another 500 pounds, roughly. Open up the rear door hatch here, show you what's inside. Easy accessibility to your... <coughs> filters right there. There's your hydraulic tank behind there so you can see the level pretty easily. The water separator easily drain that. It's got a plug right there in, or in there for the winter time. There's your diesel tank. And this uh, this pops open right here. You can open that up, clean the other one right there. And this hood pops up too. And locks and there's your air filter. See your antifreeze levels. Um, so it makes everything pretty accessible that you're going to. Uh, there's your hydraulic uh, refill and your oil check. Oil. So everything's pretty accessible right there. Um, if you want to get to the battery, because they put the battery down in there, you can barely, you can't really see it. Let me get out my light. You can see, see the strong box right there. So to get that, you actually have to pull off this side of weight, and there's a little uh, plate behind that you just take out, and then you can remove the battery pretty easily. So. Really, actually, pretty nice machine. I have a 319D uh, track loader, and um, the lift capacity on it is 1900. Uh, they don't make that anymore. Um, I think the next is a, maybe a 323, I believe, on the track loader side. Um, they make a 318 for the wheel loader, but uh, it goes 317, I think, to 323 possibly but um, I do like the <coughs> style of the tracks here too <coughs> a little bit easier to clean out than the other style of track which I really like that um, and this is a cab unit with the uh, it's got a quick attach on hydraulic quick attach for your buckets and everything they finally change that. I mean that used to be, I know ours is plastic on the 319 which I do not like. I'll show you inside the cab here. Cloth seat, pilot controls, heated seat. It's got all the works in here. It's got your foot throttle uh, pedal down there. Um, it's not fully loaded. So, but it does have heat and air, and uh, it's got the quick attach. 
Um, it does have a radio up here. You can really see that. And then your extra control panel up there. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions or want to see anything else on the machine, if you're interested in anything about it, feel free to ask any questions. We do got a 2019 uh, John Deere 333 uh, G that I'll be doing a video on next. Um, so if you guys have any interest, in, follow my page and uh, subscribe and check us out. And like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. We'd be more than happy to answer them. Thanks for watching, guys.